Good morning, Westfield High School. Today is Thursday, December 9th, 2021. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy Thursday, WHS. Welcome to BGTV. I'm Zach Erstel. And I'm Pat Cunningham. Spanish Club members, come join us to celebrate the holidays by, holidays by watching West Side Story at the Cranber Theater Tuesday, December 21st. See Classroom for more information and sign up by Monday. Join the Anime Club today in room 141 after school for civilized discussions on all things anime and manga. New members are always welcome. Do you want to learn about ancient Chinese medicine or the Shisha Dynasty? These will be the topics of the Asian Diversity Club meeting today after school in room 267. Officer positions are open, including the vice president role. Attention all Dream Team Club members. The next meeting is today, immediately after school in room 184. They'll be voting on Palooza winners and prepping for the hot chocolate holiday event. If you are planning on attending the leadership conference, return your paperwork to Ms. Hauser before this meeting. New members are always welcome. Seniors, if you have yet to order your cap and gown, please do so by following the Jostens link post on the Class of 2022 Google Classroom page or sent to you through the email. Orders should be placed by December 22nd to ensure a timely delivery. Contact Mrs. Wright or Ms. Shields if you have any questions at all. The next meeting for the No Place for Hate Committee will take place today, immediately after school in the library. In addition to all current members, they encourage any student, faculty, or staff member interested in joining to attend this very important meeting. The Small Business Club will be having a meeting today at 2.50 in room 113. They'll be talking about advertising for their business. New members are always welcome. Are you freezing in your classes? Is it time to update your Westfield gear? Well, friends, the WHS Dream Team, in partnership with the Health Department, have just what you need. Today, through December 17th, you can order one of these cool, yet very comfy, property of Westfield High School hoodies. Have you checked out the display case outside cafe? They're only $35 and come in five colors. Go to customink.com slash fundraising slash WHS hoodies to order yours today or scan the QR code on flyers around the school. Any questions, please see Ms. Hauser or Mrs. Kolazar. It's time now for our sports update with Romeo Fowler. Good morning, WHS. I'm Ronan Fowler and here's your BDTV sports update. Yesterday, the boys hockey team suffered their first loss of the season to an undefeated Livingston team with a final score of 3-2. They look to bounce back tomorrow against Ridge at 6 p.m. at ProTech Arena. The girls' hockey team also took a tough loss yesterday as they fell to Princeton Day School 5-0. Today, the bowling team looks to continue their stellar play when they go up against Oratory Prep at 3.30 at Jersey Lanes. The girls' basketball team has another scrimmage today as they take on Colonia at home at 4. NJ.com came out with their men's soccer postseason awards and two Blue Devils were recognized and awarded for their success this season. Senior goalie Ryan Freeberg added yet another award to his resume as he was named to the first team All-State, while junior defender Noah Fisher was named to the second team All-State. Huge congratulations to both players on being considered as some of the most talented players in New Jersey. That's all for today's sports report. Back to you, Pat and Zach. Thanks, Romeo. We now go to Mrs. Offendis with an important announcement. Students of Westfield High School, many of you have read my email last night, and this is a reiteration of that message. There is an ongoing investigation of another incident of hate at Westfield High School. Two swastikas and a racial slur were carved into a bathroom stall. While copycat incidents are not uncommon, we have a pervasive problem of anti-Semitism and intolerance at our high school. It also highlights the need for all members of our school communities to support our Jewish and minority communities and to speak out against the prevalence of hateful graffiti, speech, and actions. This afternoon, many students, clubs, staff, and student leaders will join together with No Place for Hate to develop plans for a school-wide discussion on the impact of hateful acts at our school and community. The discussion is scheduled for the week of December 20th. 
In the past few days, we have closed underutilized restrooms, we've increased our monitoring of restrooms and hallways, and our school resources officer has intensified his rounds in our hallways. These efforts, coupled with our security cameras, have yielded much information as we proceed with this ongoing investigation. The perpetrators in any type of bias incident at the high school is held to the most severe level of consequences dictated by our code of conduct, which is a mandatory suspension on the first offense. The Westfield Police Department was immediately involved in this investigation and is providing support as we continue. Any student guilty of hateful graffiti or acts will also be referred to the juvenile court and face civil penalties. I am disheartened that this again has happened at our school and it is a stain on our reputation and our community. I encourage each and every student of Westfield not only to support our minority communities, but to stand up against all acts of hatred when you see them. It is all of our responsibility to hold our friends and classmates accountable for making Westfield High School a safe and welcoming school that we are proud to be a part of. Thank you, Mrs. Offendis. That's all the time we have for today. Have a great day, WHS.